Hey, this is Don the Idea Guy of DonTheIdeaGuy.com. You're listening to the new Big Yellow Sticky Podcast where I give you some additional insight and the thought behind the posts that I make at BigYellowSticky.com. You know, this is my fifth year posting daily uh, thoughts and ideas and advice and quotes on 3 by 3 yellow sticky notes. I write them all by hand in Sharpie marker and post them online to share with the world. I've been doing that for uh, four complete years. This is the start of my fifth year. And I thought I would add a new component to the project, and that's this podcast. You know, the three by three area of that sticky note doesn't give me a whole lot of space to elaborate on the concepts. And this podcast is going to help me do that. It's going to allow me to share some additional insights and thoughts behind what was going on in my brain and in my life uh, that prompted that note. Because the big secret be- behind all the big yellow stickies is that they're really just notes to myself. But uh, I started sharing them with all of you out there and I've gotten some great feedback and uh, some fantastic comments from individuals saying that, you know, certain messages hit them at just the right time. And I've had a lot of fun producing them. So I thought I'd continue on with, uh, with this podcast to, to add to that content. So today's uh, episode is January 2nd, 2019. And that sticky note again was hit the ground running, gain as much ground as you can. And my thought behind this was that it's the beginning of a new year. You know, that's very exciting. You know, we literally start the year with fireworks and a, and a gigantic party and a huge celebration. And we're all very excited about the start of a new year. But that same excitement, that same level of excitement is present at the beginning of all your new projects, too. We're never more excited. We never have more energy about a new project than at the very beginning. And just like the beginning of the new year, you can apply that excitement to your new project and get a a head start, you know, be quick off the mark and get a huge head start on that project and get as much done as you can before procrastination can catch up to you and get a chance to uh, sink in and slow you down. Uh, you know, negative thoughts, you know, this will never work. It's been done before. All those thoughts can catch up to you if you're not moving forward fast enough and they'll drag you back like just dead weight hanging on your heels. If you can use the excitement of the new year and the new project to propel yourself forward, you may get such a head start against that negative thought and procrastination that it may never catch up with you. Dan Pink recently wrote a uh, best-selling book called When, and it talked about all the best times to do things. And one of the things that I found really uh, interesting about that book was the concept that Although people use the beginning of the year as kind of this uh, high watermark to to start things, you know, it's that place on the calendar that's easy to begin a new project. There are a lot of great times to start new things, and that's usually when something else in your life is starting. So if you can use the concepts of even Monday is a great time to start a new project because it's the beginning of a new week. That new week holds lots of possibilities. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, your level of excitement is high. So Monday is a better time to start a project than than like a Friday would be because that's the end of the week. You're kind of worn out and drained from perhaps what that week has taken out of you. The beginning of a month is a better time to start than some random day within the month. Uh, although I would argue that the 15th of the month or the 30th of a month, you know, the, uh, the start of a new week, any time within that month is another place to, to use the, uh, the momentum of starting a new project. I think Dan Pink also talks about how a person's birthday, you know, that's the start of your new trip around the sun. And that's a good time to start the beginning of seasons, the beginning of a new quarter of a calendar. So, you don't have to wait to the beginning of a new year to start your new project. You can find the other great times to start a project within the year and use that as your kickoff point. Use that as your springboard to leap forward, get ahead of the naysayers and those negative thoughts that tend to catch up to you and weigh you down and slow you down and use this new time to hit the ground running and gain as much ground as fast as you can.
I'll be back tomorrow for a new episode to share some additional insights behind the ideas I'm sharing with you at BigYellowSticky.com. I encourage you to visit the site. Like I said, there's four plus years of content there for you to look through, but this podcast is brand new. And if you'd like to get email updates of when there is a uh, new piece of content posted every single day, you can get it delivered directly to your email inbox. And pretty soon I'll be adding these podcast uh, playlists to that email as well. So it'll just get delivered right to you. How's that for getting a head start in the morning? You can start out with a little bit of insight and advice right there in your inbox as you start your day. That's it. Thanks for listening. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit me at DonTheIdeaGuy.com. Until then, I will see you at BigYellowSticky.com. Bye.